Hey guys, it's Tracy. Good morning. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing well. It is Craft and Chat with Tracy Day. It is Craft and Chat with Tracy Day. Uh, it is Friday, August the 5th, 2022. And I am so uh, glad to be here with you all today. Just want to make sure everything's working, you know, because FB has not been our friend lately. Uh, guys, say hello as you come on to the video. Lately. Oops. Uh, Oops. <laughs> I don't want to hear myself talk. I just want to make sure that you can hear me and see me. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am so glad to be here with you guys today. Uh, it is my craft and chat. That's what I call my craft and chats there when I craft live in a real time. And if FB, sh FB is Facebook, if they show me your comment, if I, if I catch it, uh, I will be happy to uh, chat back with you. Hi, Pam. Pamela, Eva, Donna, and Ruth. I am so glad that you ladies are here this morning. Uh, it is my craft and chat uh, session. Also, I am going to be live in the Craft Round the Clock group. I am a hostess in the Craft Round the Clock group. And what that means is that uh, Craft Round the Clock is uh, a free group on Facebook that you can join, that you can see crafting 24 seven, either live videos or on the replay. And so I'm live here on my Facebook page now and uh, Miss Tracy, uh, uh, sweet Tracy Campbell will share me over into the craft around the clock group. So hello if you're watching over there If you're watching later on the replay uh, either on my Facebook or on my YouTube I so appreciate y'all being here and uh, I just love crafting. That's just what I do. My name is Tracy and uh, My page is country charm by Tracy and I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm Just like today's project. I think I, it's like I'm a broken record. <laughs> I need to like get a Recording because I say the same things all of the time, but I try to stay true to myself with this is my heart. This is what I love to do. So I'm just kind of prepping a little bit. I'm just um, going to be doing a rustic fall pumpkin project. I am so ready for fall. And um, I'm just kind of, you know, getting a little bit of my uh, project. What I'm going to do today, I am going to, uh, you know, be with y'all. Hello. Hello, Miss Tracy. Hi, Adrian and Barbara. Hi, Mary, my sweet friend that I met at the refab live event. Uh, you know, when those, when you go to those events like that or any kind of little conference, you know, you meet like-minded people and you become friends for life. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Tammy, Lisa, Patricia, Donna. So many of my sweet friends are here. I'm so glad that y'all are here. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, it is my uh, segment this week for Craft Around the Clock, so I am live in there as well. But if you're watching on the replay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, in Craft Around the Clock, we have uh, 45 minutes to complete our craft. I highly doubt if I'm going to get finished <laughs> with my craft because, guys, if you know me, I love to jam pack a lot of different things into my project. So with me, with that being said, if I run out of time for my craft around the clock segment for today, what I'll do is I'll do a part two and, uh, you know, finish it up because I want to show y'all because I hope it's going to turn out really, really cute. Okay. I hope you are all doing well today. All right, guys, let me go ahead. Let me move this out of the way. And, um, if I try to, uh, you know, if I don't catch your comment later, I'll go back and read all the comments. I'll acknowledge them. Uh, you know, if you have a question, I will, um, you know, try to answer it the best way that I can. Hey, Brenda, Brenda Williams says, hi, Tracy. This is my first time seeing you live on Facebook. I'm here in the wild and wonderful West Virginia. Hello from the great state of Texas, USA, home of Bluebell ice cream. Um, I always say that we're also the birthplace of Texas. Washington on the Brazos is right down the road for me. Uh, so I just say that all of the time to kind of help my friends know where I am. I am um, in a little town called Brenham, which we are in between Houston and Austin. We're about 
you know, it's kind of like the triangle of Bryan College Station, you know, home of the Texas A&M Aggies. If anyone is an Aggie, whoop. Um, I'm not, but I'm just for any Texan team, <laughs> Texas team, uh, and then Houston and then Austin. So I'm kind of in the middle there. Anyway, so we're going to do a fall project today and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Okay, good morning Miss Kathy and Debbie uh, Lynn. Good morning. Come okay, guys, I'm going to bend you down so that you can see my table and uh, let me show you what we're going to do today. Um, now I have already prepped just a little because we're going to be doing a fall project and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my sticks. Now what I'm using is a 12 by 16 canvas and so um, I'm going to be making a fall scene on this today um, but you know later after you know I could do this later after you know after the live but what I'll do is I will probably will uh, you know paint this or do some put scrapbook paper or even maybe some craft paper on it I'm not quite sure yet so that's the reason why I haven't done anything with it yet okay so um, for my fence and that's what I was doing when y'all were hopping on the video is what I, I have some of these craft sticks that I make like a um, I don't know, like a, a faux border. I don't know, faux. I don't even know what you call it. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of like a frame. And so what I did, guys, is I um, I have some of these craft sticks, and I just took my scissors and just cut them so that it would fit this frame. And so what you were, what I was doing when you were hopping on is I was, uh, just took my antique wax and my uh, baby wipe and it just gave it some color on the, you know, on the sticks. And so I just want to pass this little tip along. Like if you're going to make a frame like this and you are like me and get a little, oh gosh, how did those go back together? I write the number on the back so that way I know where I start and where I stop so I write the number on the back that way if I get off a little bit I'm like oh, wait, wait 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 a minute where did that go see this one's two then this one's three <laughs> so I know that I start here and I and I stop here so that way my frame is you know the way that I had designed it to be Brenda says she saw me on YouTube for several months now. Thank you so much. Yes, I started on YouTube. That is um, my heart. But um, now that I can, you know, go live here on Facebook, I, you know, go live on Facebook, do my crafts, and then I upload it to YouTube too. I do a lot of pre-recorded as well. Uh, but that is just, that's just my heart. Okay, so before I um, glue these down, what I'm going to do is I have this when I want to make the background okay and so I have this scrapbook paper that is from of course Hobby Lobby <laughs> Hobby Lobby and uh, <clears throat> excuse me allergies are you know messing with me in the morning so um, let me see, I don't want to turn it around. I had it right. So I'm going to put it up underneath here. But one of the ways that kind of helps when I do these kind of like reverse canvas projects is I cut my paper and then I just slide it up underneath there. And usually I need to use two pieces of scrapbook paper on these longer, um, on these longer you know because this is a 12 by 16 canvas so I want to measure that like that and then I just have my adhesive tape that I want to uh, adhere these two together because the scrapbook paper is oops is not long enough so I hope everyone's having a great Friday okay so then I kind of measure that like that and then I'm going to need to trim it off a tad so let me get my scissors 
uh, sometimes I feel like a, um, <laughs> you know, like a doctor, like a surgeon. Oh, no, not those scissors. You know, oh, oh no, not those. Because, <laughs> you know, as creatives, as, as crafters, we have the certain tools that we like to use. Okay, so I just cut off a little bit of that. And then to give it a background, um, that's what I'm going to do. I may need to cut off a little bit more. So as I said, it is my uh, day. I am a hostess in the Craft Around the Clock group. I, it is a free group on Facebook that you can, uh, there are so many talented people in that group and there are just the sweetest community and um, of course it's given me problems this morning <laughs> I think what I did last time is I um, carefully I think I had I'm carefully taking this apart I think I had okay so that's what I did I put one sheet in first it's been a while since I have done that's what I did I did one put one sheet in first so I could get it in and then carefully because I've already put this adhesive tape on here I might need to turn it around I'm gonna use this one because um, you know what let me just show y'all this is why I love my craft and chat sessions because I'm crafting guys with you real time and so what that means is is that if things come up like this right here I show you how I fix it so I am making a fall uh, pumpkin scene and I was I'm using this uh, board this weathered board as the background and so I didn't do it right and so I'm just showing you how I'm going to fix it so that it fits underneath there so what I did is I just cut off this jagged edge and if you've been following me for a while you know I love my vintage photo ink so since I didn't usually I line up the weathered boards are the papers so that it's more or less looks seamless but I'm gonna put so much stuff on this that it's really not gonna matter but I shared this only for my friends who are perfectionist and are gasping because the weathered boards are not matching up so it is what it is so there we go and so that is how that is looking so far. I know that doesn't match right there, but you know, sometimes these weather boards don't match. They don't, <laughs> they don't match. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for sprinkling it. Thank you so much for spreading the charm. I greatly appreciate it so very much. Okay. So probably what I'll do is I thought that I had I'm just using just some some glue just to tack this down and guys I like to share for inspiration purposes and so um, you're definitely you know I share ideas for others to recreate for themselves either at craft shows for their home or something like that and so this will probably go in my home you know I just decorate with it so I'm not really worried about it if it's not perfect so that's how I just put that in there and uh, I didn't even use my adhesive tape because I don't know I I guess it's a little early this morning so I had like a brain fart <laughs> I'm like why did you put that like that okay again the plastics um are these i just picked up a pack of these from walmart probably and i just stained them with my antique wax 
and so now I'm going to put these on and so I am going to use the system like I uh, shared with y'all a few minutes ago is um, I put them I put numbers on the back so that I know how they go together I just had this for my <clears throat> how they go together and then later I probably will paint the back of um, <laughs> my glue gun cord is hung up so let me glue these down so what I do is I just put the numbers on the back of when I'm making like a faux board like this or faux frame I keep saying board faux frame I just put the numbers on the back and then I can um, and it's okay if I have a little uh, gap in it because later on when I go back and paint um, I just didn't get to that yet I'll be honest with you I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do for my segment today I had ideas I had like 10 different ideas but did I when did I settle on what I was going to do uh, this morning probably about an hour ago I'll be honest with you I'm being totally transparent I am not going to pretend that I'm something that I'm not <laughs> And I know my sweet friends who are planners, they're like gasping, like, oh my gosh, how can you do that? Yeah, I just kind of fly by the seat of my front, uh, seat of my pants <laughs> a lot of the times. Because if you are creative like me, your brain is going 90 to nothing, 90 to nothing and so you know you have all these ideas that you want to do and you're like wow well, I no, I want to do this no I wanna, no I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that now this is gonna have a fence down here this I'm going to paint when I paint my frame because I'm probably going to paint this so just disregard any kind of cracks if they're going to you know give you any anxiety okay so this is turning out so cute hey hey hearts desire so happy to see you you she says I do that all the time too oh miss Mary says she changes her mind often as well good morning Brooklyn good morning miss Pamela and Shelly Amy I'm so glad that everyone is here okay so guys what I'm gonna do is make a pumpkin now um I could have used you know a wood pumpkin from the Dollar Tree or uh, you know something else I could have asked my sweet husband to cut me out a wood pumpkin and he would have done that if I would have you know decided what I was going to do you know before this morning <laughs> it's already gone to work anyway guys so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little trash to treasure so I just want to share with y'all that um, you know if you don't have a wood pumpkin or if you don't have something other kind of you know material uh, you know you can make it out of a lucky charms box you know my grandson finished off the lucky charms yesterday so I said you know what don't throw that away or don't recycle that because Fanny might that's my grandma name Fanny might use that on a craft well guess what it's coming in handy today alright guys so I have some freezer paper and this is what I like to use for if I can't, if I don't have any cardstock handy, I'll just use freezer paper to kind of draw out a pattern. And so, since I wanted a taller pumpkin and then a little more squatty pumpkin, I'm just pulling out my freezer paper. And so, what I do is I just fold it in half. So I'm going to draw the stem so I kind of draw it uh, you know I fold it in half that way when I do my pattern and then cut it out it's going to kind of be the same on both sides now guys pumpkins are not perfect they're not perfect and so I am just going to be doing just a, a little random pat, uh, pattern here and then that is what I'm going to use to draw on my onto my uh, Lucky Charms box so 
I am just, like I said, I am just going to be putting this in my home. I am going to, uh, you know, I just share for inspiration purposes. So, of course, if you are going to be doing something like this to sell, you definitely want to, you know, use wood or something like that. Let me see, I might need to yep. well, I'll show you. Okay, so my lucky charm, this was the giant size. So I'm going to need to piece some of this together. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I want a tall pumpkin like this. Okay, like that. I want it to come up way up here. So since I'm using this cardboard, what I'm going to do is trace this out. Oh, you know what? Okay, I should have left that, ain't it? You know what? Let me use the other one. Guys, this is my craft and chat session. This is when I am crafting with you real time. I also do share pre-recorded uh, videos on YouTube and you know sometimes I'll share them onto my Facebook um, that's how I kind of started I started doing videos way before there was any kind of live videos so when I do my crafting chats uh, this is like real-time crafting with you and uh, I kind of share with y'all hey I ran into this issue this is what I did to correct it Okay, so this is the back side of the Lucky Charms box. And I'm just making me a pumpkin. I wanted my stem. And so I'm just going to trace this out. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, move this out of the way okay and so then I'm not being perfect I just wanted to kind of give me a pattern and so what kind of gave me this idea was you know when I did uh, a couple weeks ago I did the uh, Christmas in July and I did uh, a Christmas tree and I did it like this out of um, another box that we were going to recycle and so I'm just tearing it to give give me that torn edge that's what I'm going for and so I'm not stressing about it if I'm not getting perfect on my line it's just kind of a guesstimate and so to get that cor torn edge for me is I tear toward my body so that gives the jagged edge So again, this is my segment for Craft Round the Clock. And so guys, if I don't, uh, we have 45 minutes to do our craft uh, and, and then the next person will come on. So if I don't get finished with my craft, I'll do a part two. Um, I'll like stop the video and then come back and do the part two. There's gonna be a fence down here. So I'm not really worried about that it looks a little wonky. Again, I am just, doing this for inspiration purposes so if you're going to sell this or you know make something like this for a gift you definitely want to cut it out of wood or cut it out of something else you know don't say here here's your gift here here I'm here this is just out of recycled um <laughs> This is just out of recycled cardboard. I'm just giving ideas because, you know, sometimes there are a lot of people that don't have, you know, a lot of uh, different things. Okay, so then this one we're going to you. We're going to, I'm going to make my fat pumpkin. So I'm just using some. Hello, my sweet nanny Janet. Hello, Miss Barbara. Hello, Teresa. Brenda, thank you so much for spreading the charm. So here I have a another. Um, this is just freezer paper. And like I said, uh, I just make patterns out of it. <clears throat> and so then now I'm making my, my chunky monkey. 
my chunky monkey pumpkin, little fat squatty pumpkin. Oh, and that one's way too big, I can already tell. So during my craft and chat sessions, like I said, it's I'm crafting real time. And so then if I, you know, have a brain fart like I did this morning and glued some things down wrong, I'll show you how I correct it. When I do my pre-record it, I would cut that out. <laughs> Just being honest, just being honest. All right, so there we go. Now, I know some may be saying, girl, I cannot hand draw like that. I cannot, you know, I can't do that. You can't not expect me to do that. You can Google um, pumpkin pattern, some kind of pumpkin pattern, and you can print it out on your printer, and then you can um, you know, draw it out. And honestly, there are no perfect pumpkins. Thank you for spreading the love. Thank you for spreading the charm. Greatly appreciate y'all so much. So I'm just showing y'all today because I did not decide what I was doing today. I am showing you how to recycle how to make this project using a recycled cereal box but guys I'm just going to have this hanging in my home but if you are going to be doing something similar to this please you know um, cut it out of wood or cut it out of something that is a little bit more you know not cereal box but I just I wanted to do this project and my husband is my wood cutter and so you know and I totally just, I totally messed that up. So guess what? We're going to have to make this pumpkin a little wonky because I need a stem because I want to make, I want to decorate the stem. So I need a stem. So guys, sometimes when I tear, I tear it a little bigger. That way, if um, something happens just like that, then I can okay oh, yes guys yes 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 see that is I think I want this a little smaller a little thinner so sometimes less is more and that way if it doesn't turn out the way you kind of have vision in your head then you can so I have my tall pumpkin and then I have my shorter pumpkin okay so there are a couple of things that you can do to add your pumpkin color I recently got these beautiful napkins from my favorite store Hobby Lobby I thought about putting some of that on there but my heart is painting and so I'm gonna use this color of paint it is Canyon orange so just whatever color of orange paint you like. <sighs> Janet the Nanny's Nook says, wonky is good, girlfriend. Yes, yes, yes. Wonky is good. So I, I just have some parchment paper here covering my... Um, covering my table because I am going to uh, be just painting this orange and I know I'm getting it on the torn edge but I'm going to go back and distress that just starting with a 12 by 16 canvas and uh, I wanted to make a tall pumpkin and a squatty pumpkin so my woodcutter who is my husband was not available because I didn't decide I was going to do this project till this morning and so that's why I'm like what can I use what can I use what can I use and so my uh, grandson had finished off the Lucky Charms yesterday I said save that because Fannie may want to use that and guess what I saw that in my craft room and said, oh, I can use that for my pumpkins. I can use that for my pumpkins. I appreciate y'all watching uh, either 
on my page in the craft around the clock group or later on youtube on the replay i so appreciate y'all so very much <coughs> So for the stem, I'm going to use, um, no, not this. I don't want that. Stems are not green. Brain fart. <laughs> I'm going to use milk chocolate. That's what I'm going to use. Um, but th the good thing about the cardboard, it does dry pretty quick. It does dry pretty quick. So I'm going to give it a couple of coats of that. And so I had just showed y'all some beautiful napkins that I got from Hobby Lobby recently. Uh, and, sh and I thought about using those, but um, I don't know. I'm more of a painter. I like the napkins, but sometimes I just like to, just my good old paint. I appreciate y'all being here today. And watching like I said it is my segment of craft around the clock and so I have 45 minutes to do my craft if I don't get finished with it don't worry I will show y'all how I finish it yeah there's nothing like heated cardboard heated painted cardboard in the morning <laughs> So Jennifer Hudson asks, any advice for those who would like to start a craft channel? You talking about on YouTube? You just have to uh, start a craft channel. The thing is, is that you just have to sign up for an account. It's free. And then just start uploading your videos. So the advice is, uh, Jennifer's asking if I have any advice. The advice, I ha you have to have a way to record your videos, either uh, a phone or uh, some kind of uh, camera or anything like that. And I mean, when I started years ago, I didn't, well, that was before cam uh, cameras had the option. So I invested in a camcorder. The uh, quality was not very good, but I was I was doing uh, more Cricut card videos and stuff back then. So I've evolved over the years, and you will too as a, as a creator. And so then start telling your family and friends, hey, this is where you can find me. Okay, let's see. Good morning, Sheila. Hi, Jessica. Hope you're feeling better. Hi, Sheila. All right. <clears throat> okay so no I don't want that brush I want this brush all right so I'm just using milk chocolate brown paint for my stem for my stem and uh, guys, what I'm making, if you're just popping on, uh, if I'm live, there's a red live button up at the top. And uh, if not, that means you're watching on the replay. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm like totally messing, just messing it. But that's going to be covered, so I'm not really worried about it. Not worried about it at all. Okay. Guys, fall is my favorite. Fall is my favorite. Good morning, Jan. Hey, Cindy. Okay, uh, Janet, the nanny's nook is giving some great advice. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of expensive um, equipment or anything like that. Girl, you just have to start. And my, actually, one of the best advices that I can give is to be yourself <laughs> just be yourself the right people will find you i promise we will love you okay guys <clears throat> so my as as my pumpkins are drying let me move this out of the way so let me so while those are drying up so um what i did guys just to review real quick this is a 12 by 16 canvas that i had on hand and i'm like let me let me do something with this so i just took some craft sticks like this to get the brown color i just used my antique wax and a baby wipe 
I cut them so that I would it would be a frame um, there's a little crack right here but I'm not worried about that because I'm gonna paint that later um, this right here is just scrapbook paper that I pieced together uh, there were two pieces because there were 12 by 12 and I needed to get them a little bit better okay okie dokie now the fun part this is my favorite part is to let's see I may need to add mm, I'm trying to think if I want to add a little bit more I don't think I'm gonna add any more brown paint because I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover it up so why waste the time why waste my paint okay so I like to add some shading guys if you've followed me or if you haven't followed me uh, if you're new to me my name is Tracy I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy I am uh, on YouTube you can find me on YouTube you can find me on Facebook I'm also a hostess in the craft around the clock group I'm so glad to be here with you all today so be doing some shading now I have been painting for many years um, I'm a bit whimsical a bit um, old school I love my paint splatters I love all that old school stuff uh, and so I share just ideas for inspiration and so my thing is is if it's not your style then you know do you do what you like do what um, makes you happy so I just shade that like that kind of give it the ridges and I like the black the black look but if you don't you can use orange you can use brown you can use any kind of color that suits your style And so working with cardboard is actually pretty easy. And so I share this, the reason that I'm working for, with cardboard, if you're just popping on, you're like, why is she painting cardboard? Because I didn't decide that I was going to do this project until about an hour before my segment of Craft Around the Clock and you know, my woodcutter, who is my husband, <laughs> has already gone to work. So I'm like, what can I use? So that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna hang this in my home, guys. So, but if you're going, if you want to recreate this to, uh, you know, sell or to give as a gift, I would suggest do cutting it out of wood, <laughs> cutting it out of wood or something like that. So this is just how I like to do my pumpkins. I'm gonna save that because we're going to be putting some back black splatters on. Of course, you know I'm gonna do that because that's what I love to do. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so I have all kind of fun goodies that we're going to be, uh, I don't want to get this in the paint. I found some of this uh, mossy colored ribbon at the Dollar Tree when I went to Fort Worth last weekend on the way home uh, we stopped at one of the Dollar Trees in Fort Worth they had almost everything that I ever wanted because you know that's just it just goes to show that not all Dollar Trees are the same my Dollar Trees in my area are, are crappy anyway so I'm gonna make um, I'm going to be making, I'm going to cut, this is what I'm going to cover the stem with. This is just some burlap from uh, Dollar Tree. Yes, I'm using the uh, cardboard from, this is what's left from the uh, Lucky Charm cereal box. It was the giant size. And so what I did is I just made a pattern out of freezer paper. And I just, you know, trim, just torn, tore the edges. Uh, and so then just painted it. I am just going to keep this in my home, but if you are going to be using it or selling it or giving it as a gift, I really, I really <laughs> suggest that you um, 
that you, you know, cut it out of wood or in that kind of thing. You cut it out of wood and something like that. <clears throat> So, uh, like I said, it is my segment of Craft on the Clock this morning, and I'm a hostess in Craft on the Clock. It is a free group that, uh, you know, you can find 24-7 crafters, either live or on the replay. And so, we have 45-minute segments in there, and so um, I came on at 745, so my time will end at at 8 30 and so I'm not finished with my pumpkins so I'm gonna have to do a part two and so I because I want to be respectful for the other creators that are in the group because the creator before me was very respectful so guys this is what I did so far okay this is a 12 by 16 frame um, canvas that I had on hand and um, I cut some um, craft sticks. These craft sticks. I cut these craft sticks. You know, I just got a big old pack of them from, I think I got them from Wal uh, Walmart. And so, and then I just cut them to fit the frame. And I use the antique wax and a baby wipe to put the color on there. Just glued those on there. This paper is, uh, scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I just pieced it together. And so for my pumpkins, I wanted a long pumpkin because it is going to sit like this. And then I did a squatty pumpkin. Ah! Yes, guys, fall is on the brain. Fall is on the brain. And so then what I'm going to do, I have some other fun stuff I want to do. I'm going to paint on the pumpkins. So there's going to be a part two because I need to hop off of the craft around the clock. Uh, and so there'll be a part two. I will send out, let me see, I'm going to say 9 a.m. Central time, 9 a.m. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish, but I'll be back on live on my uh, Facebook page because I want to get all this uploaded to my YouTube channel. Hello, welcome. And so um, that way I will show you exactly from start to finish because guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, during our animation, it, during our commercial break, uh, long commercial break, I'm going to paint the canvas because I, w I did, couldn't really decide what I was going to do. I'm going to paint the canvas. So meet me back here at 9 a.m. here on my page, Country Charm by Tracy. I will upload everything to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, but that's what I've done. There will be another crafter in Craft Around the Clock at 8.30. So like I said, we have 45 minutes to craft. And so I didn't, get, I knew I wouldn't get finished. So there's going to be a part one and a part two. Anyway, okay guys, thank you so much. Go head over to Craft Around the Clock to see the next creator. I will see you back at, uh, if you would like to see me finish this, I'll see you back at 9 a.m. Central. If not, you can watch the replay. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can stop and say, what did she say? What did she do? Um, but I'm just doing this for ideas, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching and we will see you all at 9 a.m. Have a great day, guys. God bless.